hi guys welcome back to this channel in today's video i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process of restoring a website from the wayback machine the wayback machine also known as the web archive is a valuable resource that allows you to explore past versions of your website whether you are looking to retrieve a lost data or simply curious about the historical evolution of your website this tutorial this video will provide you with all the information you need now let's proceed to step one how to restore a website from the Wayback Machine. To begin, open your web browser and navigate to the Wayback website, which you are going to find the link in this video description. This is where the entire archive of the um, internet is stored. Archive.org slash web. You are actually going to find the link to the website in this video description. Now, once you are on the Wayback Machine website, you will find a search bar. Here is the search bar. You will find the search bar. Here you can enter the URL of the website you wish to restore. And uh, make sure you use the full address, including the HTTP or HTTPS prefix. Now, let's click on this website, mrcollegeup.com. Let's first of all check the website. To see the contents on the website so um as you can see the website this particular website is actually empty just um only the templates and the categories but the website is actually empty no contents on the website presently now let's look to restore a particular post on the website now once you have um, entered your website click on the browse history button browse history and uh, after that you'll be presented with a um, calendar like interface showing the available captures of the website based on uh, different dates choose the appropriate capture that contains the version of the website you want to restore here i'm going to um select the 2015 versions of the website the 2015 captures now let's pick this one yes now as you can see this is another version of the website um, website data captured in 2015 as you can see this is a totally different um website now to the next step once you've selected the capture you'll be taken to a page that displays the archive of the website here you can see this an archive of the website take your time and explore different options after your website is uh, fully loaded this will allow you to verify if the content you are looking for is uh actually available you can search for the content which you are looking to restore now, while reviewing the capture website, keep in mind that um, some external link or multimedia elements might not function as uh, they did in the original version of the website. They might not function as they did in the original website because the Wayback Machine can only preserve static snapshots, not dynamic uh, functionality. Now, restoring a um, specific web page or post using the uh, Wayback Machine now let's move on restoring specific web page from um, the uh, captured website this could be helpful if only you need to resurrect a few pages instead of the entire website um, restoring the entire website from the archive machine can uh, be somehow stressful because we need to restore the pages the posts one after the other but if you are looking to restore just few pages you can navigate to the archive website until you read the desired pages which you are looking for there's this particular page i'm actually looking to restore on this website let me check the topic here i already um copied the page contents but uh let me look and uh, let's do it here as you can see the um website is actually empty let's search for the post title here
to save us time i think i actually have the url here which i already set up so um let's just uh search for the url directly um we can just search for the url directly here let's search for it directly Yeah, let's see. And here you can see, this is actually the page I'm trying to restore. This page was actually uh, posted on uh, September the 12th, 2015. And you can see this is the title here and here you can see uh, I'm trying to restore the page because I'm getting some 404 error from my analytics you can see here is the 404 error some people are actually um, clicking on the post but um, they can't find the post on uh, the website again so the best thing for me to do is to restore the page that particular page on the website to fix the 404 uh, monitor error so before proceeding it's highly recommended before proceeding to create the local backup of your website um this is we ensure you that um, you have copies of your uh, contents in case anything goes wrong during the process of restoring your pages or posts now and that's it you have successfully learned how to restore a website from the Wayback Machine or WebArchive. Whether you are seeking to recover lost data or simply exploring um, the historical aspect of your website, we hope you found this tutorial useful and um, encourage you to explore the vast archive of the internet. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.